Brady Judge. Brady Judge has been sheriff of Polk County since 2004 and has made a national name for himself with outspoken views on issues like cyberbullying, legalized marijuana, mental health in the jails, and school security. He's the president of the Major County Sheriffs of America and past president of the Florida Sheriffs Association. We recently sat down with Sheriff Judge at his offices in Winter Haven. So there's a new state law in the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School Public Safety Act that goes into effect on July 1st, and every school must have a designated armed officer or guardian when school is in session. You helped put together a plan for school safety guardians at Polk County Public Schools. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. This all began when, in 2016, I sat around the table we're at today with my staff and said, look, we've studied all of these active shooters, and here's what we know. The evil person arrives, begins the evil deed of shooting people, and ends between two and five minutes. We also know that statistically, the police response is a plus five minutes. The bottom line, we will never, ever, as law enforcement officers, arrive at the scene in time to stop the active shooter or assailant from what they're doing. And when we get that 911 call that alerts us, the trouble's already started. So we're going to start a Sentinel program here. Under the Sentinel plan, I can impart part of my authority as sheriff. We need layers of protection many, many, many layers of protection. So to save your child at school or people at church or people visiting in your business to deal with this new law. But there was resistance from public school officials to this whole idea. They didn't want teachers to be armed at all and they didn't like the idea of more guns in schools. You heard this from a lot of school officials in Polk County. So how did you deal with that resistance? Well, first and foremost, I saw this as a statewide resistance, and I was very disappointed. And that frustrated me, because you would have at least thought that they would have given this enough time to have heard what it was. So let me explain. Do you want someone well-trained with a firearm to stop them? And the answer is obviously yes. I'm sure you heard the criticism or the concern that minority students might become more easily shot because of inherent biases in the schools. They were concerned that more guns means possibly a mistake. The person who said that should be ashamed of themselves. It is abundantly clear who the active shooter is. And that person is on campus to slaughter as many children as possible. So Andrew Pollock, whose daughter Meadow Pollock was killed at the Parkland school shooting, came to speak to the Polk County School Board and he was quoted as saying, I commend Sheriff Judd for being proactive. He really cares. I met Andy Pollock in Tallahassee and I'm also on the commission that's investigating the Parkland event. Our goal is to find out facts and see what really happened not subjective information, not rumors, but to find out exactly what happened and what can we do, not only to protect the schools or the businesses or the churches of this state, but across this nation. Well, I'm glad you brought up that commission. Um, you were appointed to a 15-member commission to look at yes. school safety after Parkland. Has there been enough time? I was going to ask you, what was your main takeaway after looking at the events that unfolded there? Do Parkland? you know, our first meeting was, basically it was an organizational meeting. We've not taken any sworn testimony. We got a 30,000 foot overview. But I can tell you this, I can't ferret fact from fiction. So your children are already protected by firearms when they go into businesses are going to houses of worship, but we're all of a sudden freaked out that we want someone to be appropriately trained on a school campus to protect our children? What are you thinking? We've got to have that. I must tell you that I'm going to do everything in my power as long as the people allow me to be the sheriff to look out for those that are significantly mentally ill. I'm working with Dr. McMickens group. Now, Dr. McMickin, who was a dear friend of mine, my physician on my Sheriff's Advisory Council, was the chairman. He called me up and said, Grady, he says, we've got some money. He said, I've got this thought about 
identifying these people that are about to get out of jail and then following them into the community and that ties in with the direction I gave my chief of staff. He's been working on this about a year ago. We call it the special needs unit here. And I told him, I said, Chief, what we're going to do is rename this the mental health unit. We're first dealing with the very sickest. The state and the country are moving in the direction of decriminalizing marijuana. Florida residents have voted to allow the use of medicinal marijuana. You are outspoken in your efforts to keep marijuana as a prohibited substance. When so many are arguing that it's not addictive, it's not so bad, it can help people in pain, why are you still so vocal in your opposition to legalizing marijuana? Yeah, I have never once had a mother come up to me and say, Sheriff, can you tell me how I can get my child addicted to drugs? And I'm sorry, I cannot stand up and support something when I have seen it create so much hardship, help. And I see marijuana as the great stepping stone. Evil has to be controlled. I've been speaking with Polk County Sheriff Brady Judd at his office in Winter Haven. We always want to hear from you.